Enrolling Learners There are a number of ways in which your students can access your course. For example, your administrator might enrol them for you, or they might be automatically enrolled from outside, or they might be able to create their own accounts on the Moodle site and then enrol themselves into your course. In this video, we look at how you, the teacher, can manually add students to your course and how you can find out the other ways in which they can access your course. If we click the Participants link in the navigation drawer and then click the gear, there we see Enrolled Users and Enrolment Methods. Enrolment means how students get into your course, whereas Authentication means how they get onto a Moodle site, which we do not look at here. If we click Enrolment Methods, we can see the different ways that they're able to access or be enrolled into a course. The first one we see is called Manual Enrolments. This means that students can be enrolled into the course by their teacher. Note that for security reasons on our Teaching with Moodle MOOC on the Learn Moodle site, manual enrolment is not available. Guest access here has its eye icon closed, so that means that currently no guests can look at this course, but the teacher can enable it by clicking the icon. self enrolment means that users can enrol themselves by clicking a button. This is currently disabled, again because the eye icon has a line through it. Clicking it to open it would allow us to give students permission to access the course themselves. If we now go back and then look at Enrolled Users, here we can do two things. We can see the list of who is already enrolled in our course, and that's currently just the teacher, Sam. And if there are a lot of users, we can search for them by using the search box at the top, and we can filter by the different ways in which they've been enrolled and by the role which they have in the course. Now remember that on our Learn Moodle site, teachers are not allowed to enrol students directly into their practice courses. But if we go into a different site and a different course, we can see how to do this. To enrol users manually, we click the Enrol Users button and then choose the role that we want. Currently, it's set at Student. As a teacher, we don't normally have the rights to enrol other teachers into our course. We have to ask permission to do that. We then scroll down and choose the users that we want. So, for example, to enrol this student, we click the Enrol button. And then we can scroll down and finish enrolling the users. Now, this is fine if we just have a few people to enrol into our courses. However, if you have many, it might be worth investigating other ways of allowing them access. Let's go to a different course in a different Moodle site and explore cohorts. Here is the Enrolled User screen again, but this time, if we click the Enroll Users button, we see a new option – Browse Users and Browse Cohorts. A cohort is a group of users created by the site administrator or manager, and we can add cohort members individually from here, or from the Enrolment Methods screen where we were before, using what's called the Cohort Sync method. And note that as they are added, you can also add them to any existing groups in the course. But you'll only see this Cohort Sync method if your site has set up cohorts.